الحمد لله الحمد لله وحده والصلاه والسلام على من لا نبي بعده اما بعد so we've been looking at verbs and how many changes that they've gone through and there's a lot and perhaps it is quite overwhelming for beginners to see there's been a lot of changes but that's why we keep revising this uh, and slowly and slowly you would find that some of that is making some sense and things are settling in so as you know so if there was any huruf or any of the huruf of illa which is the alif wa and ya in at any of the places the morphologically this is a defective letter uh, a defective verb uh, likewise if there was any hamza or any letter other than alif wa and ya and hamza if they were doubled within the same word so these are defects which Arabs wouldn't like, and they have to bring about some changes to pronounce them properly. So this is how they do. And this is all inferred, as you would know, people would just speak whatever they want to speak. They would just say what they feel like and communicate to each other. And uh, someone who needs to then retrospectively look at that from, uh, you know, from what they hear from the people, and then come up with the idea how and why they say it like this when the rules suggest that and that these rules are being you know arrived at inferred they're not being created and people follow that rather they are just being inferred and deduced from what they're saying so they do some ta'alila, they do some takhfif and they do some uh, idhams and we've gone through those quite a few times. Again, if there were two Hamzas together, first one active, second one would be Sakina. So you have to change the second Hamza by necessity into Alif Wawriya, depending on the Harakat on the first one. It's like A'mana, you can't say A'mana, you have to say A'mana, you have to change that into Alif, okay? Likewise, U'minu or U, or I'man uh, rather than I'man. Second one was optional. If the first one was in Hamza, then you do it. Or you don't do that's up to you so ya muru or ya muru you minu or you minu likewise the idram rule was if there were two of the same kind you just put them together and then a shed sign tashdi which is this w type sign and you you, you pronounce them together the first what first letter is always sakina there second one is active maddun so you do not write separately although they're two dials but you write like this maddun because maddun and likewise, madada becomes madda. You still have to make uh, a, the, the first one sakin and madda. And again, writing with the same one letter. There's some exception to that. Sabab, you don't do that. Sabun, vitez, there is already a word sab, which means to swear. So you have to keep sabab as the as a word which means cause as a separate word. Likewise, madad, you don't make it mad because mad is already. Uh, in existence and it's, it means uh, elongation, prolongation, stretching. So the help which is madad remains. We don't apply this rule to rubai, so jalbaba doesn't become jalabba. And for mudare, yam dudu, yam suru, again, you have to merge them together. How would you do that? Because the first of the two dals would be sakina. But the letter before it, which is meme in this case, is already sakina. So how would you do two sakins together? You can't pronounce two sakins together uh, in the middle of the letter, in the middle of the word. So rather than doing that, so what you do is just swap over the letters. The first dal has to be sakina because they're two of the same kind. But the one before that gets the haraka of the first dal. So yam dudu becomes yamud du, and then you merge them together under the shad. And then uh, we look at some of the ta'lila, so if there was wow, which is, or, or ya, which are active, alif can never be active, as you know. Alif by default is sakina. So if wow and ya are sakina, uh, wow and ya, sorry, are mutaharrika, means they have got fatadam or tasra on them, and the letter before them, before wow and ya, is carrying a fatha on it, a zabar on it, then that wow and ya gets change into alif by default. So qawala, you can't say qawala, you have to change it into qala, that wow becomes alif. Baya, you change that ya into alif. Ba, okay, khawifa, khafa, this is what you do. Likewise, if there was any 
you know, word or verb that has uwi or uyi sound. I mean, there's wow on ya, wow or ya with a kasra and preceding letter has a dhamma, uwi or uyi. Wow and ya has kasra only, not mutaharrik by fata dhamma, but only by kasra, mutaharrik by kasra. And one before it has a dhamma, uwi or uyi. Then you have to change in, into <coughs> e. And likewise, e u, that construction would also be changed into e. So uwi becomes qila, buyi'a becomes bi'a, yarmiyu becomes eu, becomes e as well. So yarmi. And then if there was a kasra before wow with fatha, so radiwa, you change it into radiya because kasra goes with ya. Radiwa, du'iwa becomes du'iya. And then if there was wow with kasra before it, you change it into ya. Yeah. If gel becomes e gel, mifzan becomes mizan. And the vice versa. So muisir becomes musir because bamba goes with wow. So yuqid becomes yuqid. And then ayu and avu becomes au. And the way it is that is the first rule again where. Wow, is mutaharrik preceded by a fatha letter, so da'aw, alif and wow together, you have to drop that alif, it becomes da'aw, ramaw, yardaw, okay, so this is what has been happening. And uwu and eu becomes u, you just drop one of the wows, and you have to keep one wow there because that is the only way of knowing that this is jama, mudakkar, masculine plural. And if there was a sahih letter which is sakina and the what the, the weak letter which is wow or ya has got a haraka you transpose that you just transfer that haraka onto the sahih letter ya ulu becomes ya ulu ya abudu becomes ya ulu ya biyu becomes ya biyu yes yehu becomes yes yehu okay and then now here you have like khawifa wa mutahrik ma qabal maftuh to make it into khafa that's easy that, that's the first rule but what, what about this? Yahwafu, so it should become Yahawfu. As opposed to Yahawfu, you consider that wow to be mutaharrika, that the fatha has been given to the kha, because that's a sahih letter, like Yahwulu. But it becomes alif. Why? Because we consider wow to be mutaharrik in the first place, and we have taken the haraka, and yet we apply the same rule and give and change this wow into alif. So ya khafu becomes ya khafu. Ya khafu becomes ya khafu. Ya nalu. Ya nyalu becomes ya nalu. There were a few exceptions there. Awira ya awaru, for example, you don't change them. Ideally, it should be ara. You don't change it. You don't change ya awaru again. Ya aru. It doesn't become ya aru. You keep it ya awaru. Likewise, sabiya yaswa, you don't change them. They stay the way they are. Likewise, iswadda yaswaddu, ibiyadda yabiyadu, ihmarra yahmarra. You don't change any of those. You keep them the way they are. For ihmarra, obviously, you don't have to because they're not huruf illa. But iswadda and ibiyadda, they have got huruf illa there. So you don't do any ta'aleel that is like that exception. Istaswaba, yastaswibu, you don't change again. Istaswaba, you don't change it into istaswaba. Likewise, ism al-tabdil, ism al-ala, they stay the way they are. Miqwal, remain miqwal. Af'alu, aqwalu, you don't change them. Okay, and then another ta'aleer qaida was that if there was after the scale of fa'il, ism al-fa'il, fa'ilun, fa'alif, a'in lam, after this alif, if the a'in kalima is wow or ya, you change that into hamza. You don't say qawil, well, they should be qawil from qawala. But you change that wow into hamza. You say qa'il. Ba'ya'. You don't say ba'ya'. You say ba'ya'. Hamza. You have to change that into hamza. Same here. Uh, and then there'll be many isms with that same rule who come in a, uh, you know, a bit later. Now, bab ifti'al has got a ta, which either dominates if the fa kalima is weak or gets overwhelmed by that fa kalima. But anyway, here we have got ifti'ala, and you just put wasala there which is misal wawi so if if it will be if tasala if ta'ala becomes if tasala because it's fa kalima ain kalima and lam kalima has been put there so this wow get changed into ta this ta of ifti'al overwhelm this always change it into ta 
So it does sauna. It is because this is a weak letter. If it was a strong letter, they won't be able to do that. But anyway, for weak letter, it can. And two tas together, you just combine them under the shell. So it does sauna. Okay. And then so that's what I was trying to say. If faalun, so again, there's alif at the end, second last letter. So then that last letter, if that is wa or ya, you change that into hamza, as you did with awil with ba'ya. Okay. So if irdaun becomes irdaun hamza. Okay. And then likewise, some asma sama wun becomes sama wun. Bina yun becomes bina. After alif, if there was any wow or ya at the end in the ism form, you change that into hamza. Failun or irdawun masda, which is fa, which is a type of ism. Likewise, these are the specific isms anyway. They're not masda, they're the proper jamid nouns. So you still make them into hamza. And then for Mahmuz, you know that there's the rule that you already read. If there were two Hamzas together, you have to change the second into the Harfi Illa, depending on the sign of the first one. So that would be Wajib. If there are not two Hamzas, only one Hamza, second one, the first one is other than Hamza, then you have choice. So you can change or you don't change. That's up to you. You can save with a jerk or you can save without a jerk. So for example, if you look at umul, two hamza say you have to say umul. Rest is up to you. You have a good, good choice. Like when ifir, you have to say ifir. You can't say idrib scale is ifir. So you can't say ifir. You have to say ifir. You have to change that into this is lazim. Like when it love, you don't say it love, you have to say e love. Amr, command. But you can't say udub, you have to say udub. Why? Because two hamzas together. Okay, it's lazim. And then we have applied the same to the Sulasi Mazid group. And then you would know wherever there is, there are two Hamzas, you just make that second one into Harfi Illa. So, A Laf, you make it into A Laf. Likewise, A Lif, you say A Lif. Okay. And uh, here you don't have any, so you don't have to do that. If there was no two Hamzas together. And uh, certain places where you would have so to remember this is alif but this is not two hamzas that you first hamza second one is alif anyway in the first place five on that scale and uh, here you don't have any hamzas about the foul the foul likewise if the al you have two hamzas at places so ittilaf you have to change that into ya because two hamzas together ittilaf becomes ittilaf ittalif becomes ittalif okay Istifal, there, there's no two hamza, so it will be same. You can say istilaf, istilaf, is jai, it's up to you. And then we mention about certain verbs which are command verbs, verbs, uh, and they're used so often that Arabs drop their hamza in the beginning. So, ukmul, for example, obviously you change that wow into umul. But what about khud? It should be u khud. So Arabs don't say u khud. They drop hamza and they drop the obviously hamza to wasal as well. So you don't need that. You just say khud means to take. Kul to eat. Mur to command. So, so this is what they would do. So let's have a look again. So here u mul becomes u mul, which is fine. But u khud becomes khud. Okay. And because they use a lot. So likewise, u'mur becomes mur and u'kul becomes kul. So the gurdan from the second person, when you command someone to say, take, to say take, take it. So you would say khud, khuda, khudu, khudi, khuda, khudna. Khud is for first person, two male and plural, as you know, for feminine, you say khudi, khuda, khudna, yeah, all of you. So this is command without having hamza at the beginning because you don't need that, they drop it. Like was kul kula kulu kuli kula kulna. That's the gardan for that as well. And mur mura muru muri mura murna. Same here. And then uh, the only difference is that with mur means command. When you combine it with something before it, like wow or fa or something else, then that hamza comes back. Normally you say mur, like khud, 
for, for khuz and kul, it doesn't come back. It remains kul. Wa kulu, fa kulu. It would not say fa ukulu. No, it wouldn't do that. But here it would be fa mur, wa mur. Okay, for mur, the hamza would come back. Bab ifta'al, again, so this is what happened, ifta'ala. So, this is Sulasi Mazid fi. You put akhada there, akhada, yeah? Mahmoud al fa from Sulasi Mujarrad. So, bab ifta'al is ifta'ala madi. So, you put hamza, kha, and dhal. So, ittakhada. So, again, week later, you change that into ta, it. Takhada and it becomes ittakhada, like ittakhada. So it was mithal, wawi, this is mahamuzun fa. Okay? Ittakhada. Ittakhada yattakhidu ittakhaz to take, you know, the action of taking. And that's that's how you do it. Remember that ittakhad here, you don't change it into ya. Ittakhad. You don't do ittakhad. Rather, you change that into ta. Otherwise, it should have been but you don't do that. That's it, it doesn't apply here. You just change that fa kalima into ta Okay, but if the al has that extra, you know, control over certain words. There's a letter, uh, the, the, this mahmuzul fa sa'ala, special, some special words, some special verbs or words, a noun or verb, whatever they are. They get certain changes. For example, sa'ala. Sa'ala. You don't change mahmuzul fa, uh, mahmuzul ayn and lam generally. So sa'ala. There are few exceptions. Sa'ala. So mudari should be yes, alu. Yes, alu. Yeah. Sa'ala, yes, alu. Fataha, yaftahu. But you, you are okay to say yes, alu, but you, you can also say yes, alu. Without, so you drop the Hamza there and give the Fatha of Hamza to seen. So Yasalu. Yasalu means the same as Yasalu. This is exception for the for Sa'ala. So likewise, Is'al was the Amr, amr the command. Is'al. Isma' Iftah. Yeah, this is from Fatah. So iftah. Is, iftah. Is'al. Okay. You can also say Sal, only Sal. So Sal Bani Israel, as you find in the Quran. Okay, so that, that is that is what happens with Isal. There's exception. Okay. Okay, let's re read some of those. Hussein. Oh Hussein. So you, sometimes you drop that ya, Munada. You don't have to say ya all the time. Hal ta'lafu sijara. Alifa Ya'lafu, to be habituated to something, like in a city smoke, means, are you addicted to cigarettes? Okay. So then he says, Kuntu alafuha, lakin taraktuha mundu shaharayim. He said, so what's it? this is his response, he said, I used to, Kuntu alafuha, I used to smoke alafuha, I used to be Addicted to it. Lacking, but tarak to her, I left it. Since when? Since a month, for a month. I've, I've stopped it for a month, for a month, or since a month ago, 30 days ago. Ahsan, good, you did well done. Ila fishaya. Get used to of T. What lift? And get used to of Al Kahwa. So what left actually? So again it was E left. Okay. Then what left is the same as E left. Except the wow, when you have wow, and you've got Hamzatul wasal needs to be dropped. So, the, you do, so you do not need that ya to be changed into, because you, you remember this is slightly technically the reverse of what we've just done. Look at wa'alaf, what is wa'alaf? Let me try see if I could write down here. 
Yes. So you remember, Elif was actually Hamza. Not the best Hamza. Let me see. In fact, hang on. It's better to do from there. Come on. Annotate. Text. We have the Arabic phone first. So that was first Hamza, and then we have another, we had another Hamza. Is ma e love, yeah. That's the command. So what would happen here? You ne normally need to change that hamza, the second hamza into ya. Yes, but if you already have, if you already have a letter that you can combine the second hamza with, which is not going to be, which is not hamza, then. You just leave it as such. So here we had wa. So Hamzatul Wasal would be dropped anyway because that was only brought to be able to pronounce the Sakina Hamza. And that got changed to ya because of the Kasra on this Hamza. So here we do not need that. We just need the second Hamza. And then you just say wa laf. Obviously, you do not write Hamza in the middle like that. You write Hamza on top of something. So here you have just written, oh, it was on the previous page actually. Let me just go back to the previous page. But anyway, this is, this is what has happened really. Let me see if I could, this is so difficult this one. Anyway, yeah, so it should have been here. Here. So this wa'laf, now if you could look at that. This one did job. So e left, so e left, you change it into e left. But when you have wow there, you didn't need to change that. And first Hamza was never there anyway. So you just say wa left as opposed to e left. So wa left, yeah. And you have a choice of six second Hamza being wa left or wa left. Both ways fine because you have choice here. For two Hamza, well, for one Hamza, you have a choice to say it with Hamza or with the alif. So wa left. Or wa'laf, both ways fine. So wa'laf, so this is why, where it came from. Anyway, it says, get used to of coffee. Lakin la ta'ala but don't get used to of cigarette. Naam, yes, qalali al-doktur, the doctor told me, a sijaratu mudirratun, cigarette is harmful. Ta'atharu biha al-ri'atu wal-a'in. Ria, lung, ayin, eye. Eyes and lungs are affected by that. The ta'asar. They get muta'asar. They get the asar of that. Wallahi, by Allah, innaka rajalun aqil. Indeed, you are a wise man. Fa innaka tusiru awla dukturi ala malu fatik. Because you prefer. So see, 
every time it, the asara comes into different form, it changes its meaning. Two zero asara you zero ethar means to prefer something over something else. So because you preferred the statement of doctor, the saying of doctor, over your likings, your favorites, malufat, the things that you get used to, you get habituated to. So, so you, you whatever you liked or you you were used to of, you preferred the statement of or the saying or advice of the doctor so you are a sen sensible person yeah akhi. oh my brother al -ahsan. even better in the with me the more, even better to me is Allah that i do not get used to that we do not get used to of tea or coffee as well without need let me don't get addicted to any of that When would your father come from Delhi? When is your father coming from Delhi? Yumanu, Yumanu. So it's majhul of amala. Amala means to hope. It is hoped. Udumu, what is hope? His coming, his return, his coming is expected غداً tomorrow, inshallah, if Allah wills. هل سمعتم خطبة? Did you hear خطبة, the lecture, the, uh, خطبة, the sermon of مولانا بالكلام, مولانا بالكلام's uh, خطبة في المؤتمر الإسلامي in the Islamic Congress في Delhi in Delhi, in the conference there. نعم, yes, سمعناها, I had, I, we heard it, سمعناها, we heard it, the خطبة is feminine, that's why. Indeed, it was very effective. Everyone, you know, everyone who was present. So all the, 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 the people there, Hadirin is the one who was present, and Hubbar is the plural of that. All the people present took a lot of effect of that. They were all inspired. They were all like, you know, Did you rent this house? أنا لا no I أنا متأمل في است في استئجارها I am I am hopeful for it being rented out. أست أكستأجر هذا الأجير الأمين Would you rent it out to this friend of you know this this trustworthy person? Would you tastajiru mean to take someone for a job or for a rent? So would you take this trustworthy man for rent means for a work that he would do for you? You gave him the job and he would work for you and you would pay for it. Indeed, the best you could appoint as a worker is the strong and trustworthy. Yes, I would you know, appoint him with, with, with joy. Because we are in need of ila ajirin for ajir. Ajir is someone who works for you. So, you know, someone who, a labor, a person who will do some job for you. Ajirin qawiyin amin. Qawiyin aminin. Who is strong and trustworthy. Ya Ali, oh Ali. Mur waladak. Command your son and yakhud al kitab that he takes the book wa yaqra'a bayna yadayhi and he reads from uh, he reads and reads from uh, uh, bayna yadayya in front of me let him read in front of me yeah, command him to take the book and read in front of me khud ya bunayya take oh my son kitab at your book waqra and read amam al ustad in front of the teacher ya ukhti oh my sister muri banataki command your daughters banat is plural of bin bis salati of what of prayers. وقد قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم indeed he said مروا أولادكم بالصلاة command your children of prayers إذا بلغوا سبعا when they reach seven the age of seven نعم yes يا أخي oh my brother سآمروهن I will very soon command them بالصلاة for the prayer امتثالا following you know embodying Personifying means imitating or following 
لأمر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. So manifesting that command, Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم command. So I would do that to my children, following the command of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. هل اتخذتم هذا البيت مسجد؟ Did you take this house as a مسجد؟ Did you make it into a مسجد؟ نعم, yes. سنتخذه مسجد ومدرسة. We will take it as مسجد and a مدرسة. School as well. Sell, ask. هذا شيء. You may sell or sell both ways. Fine. Sell, ask. هذا الشيخ. This teacher, this sheikh, this elderly man. هل تأذن لنا أن نسألك بعض المسائل? Would he allow us? هل تأذن? Ask the sheikh. Would you allow us? أن نسألك that we ask you بعض المسائل, some questions, some queries that we have. سلوني يا أولاد. Ask me. Sell the plural of that is سلو. سلوني or you sons or boys. Just ask me. ما شئت whatever you want. وَلَا تَتَّخِذُوا آيَاتِ اللَّهِ هُزُوًا وَلَعِبًا But do not take the signs of Allah, the verses of Allah, هُزُوًا as a game or joy or mock. وَلَعِبًا play a thing. Don't make a mockery of ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just ask whatever you need to ask properly. نَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ يَا شَيْخِ We seek Allah's forgiveness, O Shaykh. لَا تَغْضَبْ Do not become angry. جِئْنَاكَ We came to you. لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aatharaka alayna fil ilm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aatharaka alayna. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you a preference in ilm, in knowledge over us. So it means Allah preferred you. It means Allah gave you more knowledge. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you more knowledge. فَاسْأَلُوا So ask وَعْمَلُوا مَا عَلِمْتُمْ And act on what you learn وَاتَّخَذُوا وَاتَّخِذُوا Rather come on And take Qur'an إِمَامًا Make Qur'an your leader فِي جَمِيعِ أُمُورِكُمْ For all of your matters يَا أَبَانَا O our father هَلْ عِنْدَكَ شَيْءَ Have you got something لِنَأْكُلَ So that we eat فَنَحْنُ جِئْنَا Because we came من مسافة بعيدة. We came from far distance. خذوا يا أولاد. Take all children. تلك السلة. سلة. سلة is the the basket. Take this basket of fruit. وكلوا من الفواكه and eat from the fruits. ما شئتم whatever you want. وشكر الله and thank Allah على ما رزقكم for what Allah has given you. نحمد الله ونشكره. We thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we thank you. We praise Allah and we thank you. نشكرك. We should we do shukr to you. على عواطفك upon your compassion, your kindness. لكن but يا شيخ or teacher ليس فيها خبز. There's no bread in it. ولا لحم and there's no meat. اخسر. Run away. Get out. He says, Ya Ashrar, O naughty ones, Ma antum bidayeen, you are not hungry. Hal ittakhatumuni huzuan baynakum? Are you taking me as a mockery among yourselves? Mean that you, you're just, you know, mocking me? Al afwa, ya tu, al afwa, the forgiveness, excuse, la tu akhirna, do not take us. Ya ammana, O our uncle, ha. Do not take us. نحن نأكل التين والرطب. نحن نأكل. We will take the teen, the fig, والرطب, and the dates. فكلوا. So eat ما تحبون منها. Honey and Mary. To eat from whatever you like from it. Honey and Mary and like without any trouble, with happiness. Mary and without any, you know. Restriction. Hanna akallah wa barakallahu fi. We greet you. We hanna means to do some greetings, but and you know when you leave in sort of wa barakallahu fi and may Allah bless you in bless you in you give blessings in you. Fal tasmahu. Would you excuse us, Lana, for us? Ya Sheikh, O teacher. أن نأخذ that we take معنا with us هذه السلة 
this basket. Can we take this fruit basket? So that we can eat on the path on our way back. Wallahi antum shayateen. He said, Wallahi, by Allah, you are your devils. You did not come to ask any questions. You actually came for eating and for mockery. Ayyu al-Sheikh al muallam Oh, the great teacher, the great Sheikh. Natlubu bil kalafu. We ask you, we request your forgiveness. Lima fa'alna. What, for what we have done fi hadradik in front of you in your blessed presence khilaf al adab which was against the manners wal ihtiram against the respect wa nasta'dhinuka and we seek your permission al yawm today li dhihab for going back so that we turn fa inna naraka fa inna Naraka, it should be Naraka, that's written slightly wrongly. So, Faina Naraka, you write with Alif, that Ya is wrong. You don't need to put that Ya there, Naraka with Alif. Faina Naraka Al Yoma, Ghadban, because we see you today angry. Rafa Allahu Lakum, may Allah forgive you all. Irji'u, return, Mata Shaytum, whenever you want to go, return back whenever you want. In Kanatakum Hayatun Fi Fahamil Masail, if you have any need to understand the Masail, the questions. So he was happy to teach them, but they were a bit like, you know, anyway, was salam. So they just said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Inshallah, we leave it there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.